Well, it's been 10 years now they've been trying to negotiate getting rid of the drift nets, and uh, all the negotiations in the world uh, haven't stopped them so far in the North Pacific. So uh, uh, Captain Watson had decided that uh, uh, negotiation time was over, and it was time to go in there and make a very specific statement over. Everybody say, Everybody say, Blow that horn. For 450 million years, sharks have molded evolution in the ocean. Uh, every fish in the sea, its camouflage, its speed, its, uh, you know, its behavior has been molded by sharks. It's a very significant uh, apex predator and uh, removing sharks from that ecosystem could have uh, huge um, detrimental consequences for the oceanic ecosystem. The biggest problem for sharks is the ever-increasing catch of sharks, mostly for the uh, for a part of their body that is considered uh, a delicacy, unfortunately, and that's their fins. To this day, sharks are being killed in massive numbers to cut their fins off and then throw them back into the water. One of Sea Shepherd's approaches in protecting sharks is by targeting the poachers that are targeting sharks specifically for their fins. The recent Operation Driftnet uh, was able to stop a six uh, ship fleet from China that was using drift nets, which have been illegal since 1992, and uh, they were focusing uh, on sharks. So by shutting them down, we were able to, uh, of course, uh, protect a great many sharks that would otherwise have died in those nets. Because sharks are targeted around the world, Sea Shepherd is combating the shark fin trade by working together with governments, governments that maybe lack the economic resources to protect their own waters. We've been working for a long time with the Galapagos National Park, and we're setting up cooperations with governments in West Africa to stop shark fin fishing. And what Sea Shepherd has done in the Galapagos is we developed a program where we have various elements that contribute to the conservation of sharks. We had an educational program where we released a book that talked about the importance of sharks in the ecosystem. A book that we gave out to every single child in the Galapagos, thus creating 3,000 little shark ambassadors. So thanks to the Dutch Postcode Lottery, Sea Shepherd was able to install a network of AAS receivers that has a coverage over the entire archipelago of the Galapagos. We installed nine repeater sites and they gave us an almost 100% coverage of the islands of the marine reserve. We also helped the national police to, uh, to train a special unit of dogs uh, that specializes in the detection of marine wildlife. Sharks are apex predators. They are responsible for regulating the health of the marine ecosystem and yet they are targeted with reckless abandon. If you look at the population of sharks in the Atlantic alone, populations of sharks have fallen by as much as 90% in just the past 30 years. And that's a big, big sign for what's happening across the board. I think it's important that not only uh, do governments need to step up their measures to protect sharks, I think we need to get rid of the uh, regulations that allow sharks to still be landed with, with their fins attached. I think what we need is a global uh, moratorium on the killing of sharks. Sharks should be full-on protected.